Hello, welcome to a new episode of uh, SketchUp.us, SketchUp for us. Today we'll talk about uh, an architect. Uh, his name is uh, Carlos Scar Scarpa. Uh, you can search about him if you like. Uh, you just need to go on uh, YouTube as usually or on uh, Google and uh, just uh, Scarpa. Uh, you can. Uh, Search for it. It's uh, he's an Italian uh, architecture. He le lived in Venice, Italy, and um, it's uh, actually quite interesting uh, design uh, which he's doing. And uh, I will show you what you can do with uh, with uh, those type of uh, in and outs uh, and offsets uh, which uh, you can use. So here are some examples. Uh, what we're gonna model, uh, it's something similar to what is uh, a Scarpa style. Uh, a lot of, uh, as you can see, uh, offsets and in and out symmetries. So, uh, back to the model. Um, I just uh, play a little bit. Uh, as you can see, I start building uh, some volumes. And what I'm trying to teach you and show you how uh, it can be done, basically, if we take a... Uh, uh, an element like this, we can use the offset tool. Uh, we can just select some of the faces, as you can see here. I select only the two faces uh, of uh, a rectangle, actually two lines of the rectangle, and I already have uh, done some uh, some of the offsets. You can see it nearby. So after you do the first offset, you're going to see only those L-shaped uh, lines are offset. And you can go back and reselect the new ones, which I just did. And do double click on the side after you select the offset. And again, uh, as you can see, when you do a double click, he's going he's gonna to do the same distance as you did before. So uh, we can... You can even type on the distance. You can take a look over there, or you just type it uh, on the keyboard. And again, if you want to do the last one, uh, you just select the faces which you need. Uh, you can uh, either select the two, or you can deselect the other ones which you don't need. And uh, double click on uh, offset on the edge, and double click, and as you can see, the new offset is done with the previous offset which was done before. And after that you just go on uh, push pull, uh, click P on the keyboard and you can go with a certain distance. And it's good to keep the symmetry. I, uh, I use uh, an incremental of 0.1 meters. So as you can see I made the first one 0.1, the second one could be 0.2 and the third one is 0.3. And uh, here it is. I uh, made a similar uh, Scarpa style uh, architecture uh, type of design. Okay, so uh, you'll continue in the same way. Basically, uh, you're gonna have uh, different volumes. And as you can see, I do have a volume here. And when I extrude, uh, actually, when I offset the lines, I offset set this line and this line and this line. And it's giving you that uh, characteristic shape which uh, Carlos Scarpa was using uh, in his uh, models and in his architecture style. Um, and uh, you have different plays. Uh, as you can see, it's quite dynamic. Uh, on the back of the building, we can do it in the same way. Basically, we can uh, use the offset uh, in and out. And I added a few entrance uh, plays and more volumes on the sides as well. Uh, this one is a composite uh, element. I just united uh, this L shape with uh, the other L shape for the upper floor. And again, you can uh, you can continue that uh, with uh, with the walls. Similarly, you can do it for the slabs up top if you like, and also you can play with the volume and have a nice volume for uh, your models. So 
in order to check yourself, it's good to work also with the X-ray mode. Uh, you can see different uh, places for the models. Uh, you can see how the volume uh, overall it's uh, having different proportion and uh, it's looking nice. Uh, again, you can think about the planning and the floors, uh, whatever uh, you like to do from architectural point of view. Um, so as you can see, this is Scarpa style. I just uh, name also this uh, file Scarpa. Enjoy it and uh, use again the offset tool, which is this one here. Uh, decide about the pattern as uh, I made it in this particular model. I use uh, an offset of uh, one uh, uh, dec decimeter, 10 centimeter or 0.1 meters. And uh, this was used very often uh, on the vertical and the horizontal as well. Uh, as you can see, the same uh, pattern was used. Uh, it's giving you this uh, sensation of uh, a step, a stair, sort of, which uh, gives uh, a cool uh, play of the volumes. And again, you can have in and outs like this area here and uh, ends like uh, half entranceways. This uh, is very similar to an uh, architectural order, you know, the top uh, parts uh, of the antique temples and uh, things like that. So, you know, architraves and things like that. So, it's pretty cool. Uh, enjoy this uh, tutorial. Hope you like it. Uh, exercise, play with uh, SketchUp. It's uh, really interesting and nice. And have fun. Thank you.